Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In our last episode, we explored the most serene mausoleum and the dead sun right next to it. So we're back in London. Let's uh, let's resupply before I decide exactly where I want to go next. We got some port reports to turn in. Uh, I need to pretty badly repair my ship after my encounter with the Golden Dreadnought, I think it was called, at the most serene mausoleum. That thing was tough as hell. Mm, yeah, we go here to repair a locomotive. The steam and sapphire yards. Fully repair. 120 sovereigns, a little bit pricey. Store bookkeeper is the person we turn our port reports into. Turned in two. The bookkeeper reads the reports swiftly, making a few notations, then files them deeply in his haystack of financial records, beyond the attention of even the most persistent ministry auditor. Thanking you silently, he conveys that you're doing important work. Thank you. Gained... Oh, right, we gained gratitude with the new street line. We're going to need that to do, well, anything. We can now trade it for a savage secret. I have no need of that. But we can trade it to win the bookkeeper's trust. That would be good. What is this mysterious further work he once alluded to? Have you been useful enough yet that he trusts you? Yeah, that I definitely want to do. How much do I need? Need gratitude at four or more. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not much at all. I just need two more port reports. Mm. Wow, my terror is actually a lot lower than I thought it would be. It must have went down a lot when I last came to London. Okay, I'm super confused about something, everybody. I... <laughs> Am I remembering wrong? I just recorded the last episode, like, 10, 20 minutes ago. I'm pretty sure the floating parliament, when I looked at the prospect, said it was far to the west of London. Far to the west. Past... I remember specifically saying, oh, it must be past the transit relay where I came in. To the west of London, over here. I remember that very clearly. Now that I've started up the game again for this episode, it appears to have changed places. When I mouse over the parliament here, floating parliament lies a long way to the east, southeast. And the clockwork sun is the east, northeast? I thought this was the south east. The flo this might have moved too, but this definitely moved. The floating parliament, what the hell? I'm not remembering wrong, right? Here, I'm going to make a mark to edit footage in from the last episode right here so we can see that this was in a different place. Okay, well, uh, we have something else to deliver to Parliament. Two prospects for Parliament. I'm thinking I should probably go there. And literature for the Avatar Horizon, which is close-ish, but I don't actually have literature. I don't have any in my bank, do I? No, I don't have any at all. I still haven't found a place that actually exports it. But, uh, yeah, this seems like a good place to go. The Floating Parliament, two prospects, and I have all that stuff in my bank to fulfill them both. Does the game really change the location of places every time you restart it if you haven't discovered it yet? That seems awfully bizarre, if so. Alright, so the two prospects are munitions and bronze wood. Three munitions, five bronze wood, which is going to be worth a lot, by the way. Yeah, bronze woods, when turned in for a prospect, are well over 200 per tree, so this is going to be easily above a thousand profit. So I've got all that, and the rest is filled up with some fuel and supplies, all the way up to my max hold, so I think I'm ready to go. There's nothing I want to do. What can we do with the Ministry of Decency? Oh, right, these are the other people, the London-affiliated people to turn port reports into and stuff, as opposed to the person I've been seeing at the, uh, the yards of the new line. And I still have my quest for the Royal Horological Office to go to Albion, or not Albion, um, Port Avon, so that's not going to happen for a while. Anything new to do in London? Oh, listless aristocrat. Right, that's one of the other people from the Avid Horizon. I need to research their their backgrounds. The aristocrat stuck. At the Avid Horizon mentioned a brother responsible for his predicament. 
Oh, they're the one that mentioned that they got, like, their name got mixed up with their brothers who did some bad stuff, is what they were claiming. Doppelganger. It takes some time to track down someone resembling the aristocrat. The sooty slums are empty of any fallen nobility. The grand houses close their doors to you. It's as if London would prefer all detainees of the Avid Horizon to remain there. You've all but given up when you receive a note to meet in the crown jewel. A distinguished gentleman sits by the fire, his porcelain features a flawless mirror of his brother's. He intimates a litany of unsavory habits and hobbies possessed by his younger sibling. Calumny in the nursery, scandal in boarding school, horror in the young stags club. He would very much prefer it if his brother were to stay where he was. Okay, they didn't want the the people at the mausoleum didn't want the nun. This person doesn't want their brother. That just leaves one. Wander the streets. Does that do anything? No. Not particular. Silken salons are where we sell a bunch of stuff, like salons to gossip and minister stamp permits and whatnot. I don't want to do any of that. Yeah, I think we can go. <clears throat> okay, so where was it again? <laughs> where is it now? Maybe it's changed in the past two minutes. East, southeast. East, southeast. So, oh man, it's going to be pretty easy to miss it because of how big the world is. That's, well, roughly like anywhere here. Oh, right. Oh. Remember, when I come out of here, if I turn without jetting sideways, I bump on my bum on St. Dominic Station. There's a dreadnought over here. As long as it's not a glorious dreadnought, I'll fight you. It's not. You want to come around the corner? I'd love to blast you. Alright, this is going really poorly. Well, I'm definitely going back to repair my hole, huh? I really thought that would have killed it. Shit. Well, that was an incompetent fight. Let's gather some supplies? Sure. Oh. Three supplies? Well, that's too many supplies. Heaven's bounty. Your chef is delighted at the abundance of food still intact in the kitchens. He shouts something about a cornucopia before he disappears into the pantry again. Sweet biscuits, tea cakes, herbs from Trader's Wood, and succulent fungus from Hybris. Good British tea and a few measures of whiskey are unearthed from the vast larders of the Dreadnought. You've bought your crew a few nights of restful sleep on full bellies. Hmm, well, the fuel's worth less than the supplies. Okay, I'm gonna go get repaired. I'll be right back. Okay, try number two.
I don't quite have the room yet. Let's give my supplies a second to run out. One fuel. Okay. That's straight north. Not exactly the place I want to go, but what the heck. I don't think we're allowed here, the signaler mutters. This ain't for the likes of us. It is suddenly very quiet and eerie. Well, I guess I'll just start going southish. Man, look at this. Looks. Hmm, how to describe that? Oh, shit. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just Marauder. Hold a solid crate. Death's bounty. A gunner sniffs just before the lid is wrenched open. Gunpowder, they assert, before assuming responsibility for the opening. Once the lid has been carefully pried off, the case's gleaming arsenal of ammunition, sealed powders, and callous weaponry is laid bare. This will fetch a handsome price. The heavens do not lack for murderers. Oh, shit. Um, well, I don't actually need the crate. I have all I needed. Um, I don't need the fuel, right? I don't need that much fuel. No, it's, it's fine. Oh my god, another horror. There's so many fucking horrors here. There's a horror. There's a horror. There's a horror. There was something ghastly, I think, over here? Something ghastly up here? House by Terror. It's not bad. I could go there. That is kind of the, the direction and place I'm going for, for the floating parliament. Maybe that is the floating parliament. It's just horrible. Oh. Yes, fight each other. Bash into each other, please. Oh, Jesus Christ! That thing can... Okay, I'm gonna take that thing out first. Oh, it's a Star Man to explore. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's for parts. Yes. Gain 10. Oh my god, not another one. At least I'm not actually taking very much damage. Man, I love using both my guns at the same time when I get like a really good beat on one of them from a good angle. Put the hold. Faintly luminescent cage. Vision of the heavens. Uh, oh right, made from moonstone. Your navigator says to amplify the light of the stars. You've seen that before. Okay, now you, please, for the love of God. Ah. Too bad I can't scavenge them for parts. Send out crewmen with axes. Success. Got some bronze wood. Well, I have a lot more terror now. And a lot less supplies. Eh, I'm so close to the terror, though. The horror, rather. I hear nothing but the wind. I'm always terrified when I'm this close to a horror. What's it going to be? I heard sounds. thing in the center there. That's this. Oh god, there's another ghastly thing here. The thing in the center. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks and sounds like the thing we saw up here. Okay, what's this ghastly thing? Oh, Jesus, there's another one. The ruins are arranged in a ring like the strokes on a clock face or the monoliths of Stonehenge. I'm so scared of these things. I don't I don't know. I can't even guess what happens if you go into them. Probably not good. The center one looks different from the other ones. The other ones either they alternate between like not really being visible and then suddenly shooting. But this one in the center is just like a portal. This place is fascinating and terrifying. Oh, Jesus, there's another one. Fucking hell. Did anything just happen to the scribe spinster? It was kind of caught in it. Yeah, so there's just a bunch of those things around it. I guess they're causing or attracted to it or they came from it. Obviously, there's got to be some sort of attachment between these things and this thing in Skyhenge. Anyway, I, I don't think I should fight that scribe spinster. I need to get the hell out of here. What did I find? Oh, this up here. Nope, still looking for the floating parliament. I think I need to go more south. But let's give a wide berth to everything over there.
That was a hell of a sound. Was that the floating parliament? I think I heard another one of those distortion things over here. Growing an ease. Uh, yep, I heard another. Yep, another one of those things. They're all over the place. Why? What's causing them? Well, we are definitely east. Southeast. I guess I'll just keep going. Let me just check the location. Didn't change. East, southeast. Yes. <gasps> that must be it. You're woken up in the night by a cry of zounds. Your cavity is back and has something to report. <laughs> I love that purple color. I've seen that a few times in Albion. Oh, that sound again. That must be the floating parliament. Inspired by Parliament, the Rat Brigade votes on trying democracy. The result is vetoed. <laughs> this place looks like it could use some cleaning. Wow, it looks outright destroyed. I mean, people obviously live here. There's lights, but everything's so grimy. And there's chunks missing. Oh, it's a Tackety. Is that the first Tackety I've seen in Albion? Cromwell's Gate. The ancient palace drifts through the void, a monument to British democracy and the greatness it believes it brought to the high wilderness. An elderly guard watches with suspicion as you dock, but relaxes at the sight of fellow Londoners. You know, first thing, let's actually get rid of our prospects. 360 profit from munitions. Oh, let's actually read this. A zealous undersecretary is already planning next year's Guy Fox night. Of Wait, I think I've read that before. The undersecretary asks probing inexpert questions about the yield, lumens, and decibels of your delivery. I want them to rattle Her Majesty's China, he admits savagely. Ah, right there for fireworks. Got a moment of inspiration. Okay. The bronze wood, oh my god, 1,400, almost 1,500 coins, that's so good. The member is beside herself with glee. Oh, wonderful. We'll be able to stock the good wines from Pan again. She coughs. Uh, I mean, reopen an important forum for facilitating bipartisan camaraderie. <laughs> Ministry stamp permit, very valuable. And they have caddies of dry tea as a bargain. A lot of them, seven. Well, I'm not going to buy that just yet. Black Rod's Boutique. Operating from a forgotten cupboard-sized office, the once esteemed official known as Black Rod now sells sandwiches from the parliamentary canteen. In addition, in order to raise funds, you can also be persuaded to part with exhibits from Parliament's extensive collection of crockery. Palace of Highminster. The Empress shipped the Houses of Parliament brick by brick from Old London to the High Wilderness to help her govern. It didn't take long for her to grow weary of the questioning of her authority and have it severed from London. Parliament now drifts free in this distant corner of the sky. It continues to pass laws, but hardly anyone pays attention. That's so sad. 
It's like a complete manifestation of just boring, pointless bureaucracy. Not only does it just feel boring and pointless, but like quite literally it is. Let's compile a port report. The Last Bulwark. While the palace is off limits to most, there are always ministers and civil servants whose busy schedule allows a moment for a free drink. You ask the obvious question. What is the point of Parliament when her renewed majesty never gives her assent to any of its proposed laws? They bristle. Tyrants fall. Democracy endures. Hmm. So they believe her renewed majesty to be a tyrant? That's good. Oh, wow, there's a lot to do here. Oh, we can even hunt for the Verdant Fragment. We have a 30% chance of success. We had a 0% chance for our first search in London. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out the Floating Parliament. And I guess also level up. This just happened during that cut. I wanted to make sure the game saved. So, I left this left the dock, and then went back to redock so it would save, and I leveled up when I did that for some reason. So, yeah, gonna explore the parliament and level up.